Hi everyone, Xandra from Scraps to Beauty. How are you guys? Let me just pull out my chat here. There we are. Hi Pam. Hi Jenny. Oh, I'm glad you're feeling better. Hi Sherry. Hi Linda. Hi Ella. Hi Sophie. Um, I have some happy mail to show first. And then we'll get into our uh, canvas. <laughs> Hi, very nice. Just waiting for everybody to kind of stroll on in. Tonight I think I'm going to use my Viva paints only because I don't really want to spray um, the canvas. So I might use some of my Prima sprays, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> hi, Gary. Just stop by to say hi. It's <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be painting our my octopus. This is um, the clay octopus. You can see it's all nice and hard now. So we're going to be painting that tonight. So it's all. And then we're going to be doing the canvas. So hi, Jim Marie. <laughs> So first off, I'm going to show you guys, remember National Scrapbook Day, uh, Wendy was posting all the tags for us. And isn't that nice? She sent it to me with the seashells. Look at all those seashells on there. So she had done that with the Julie nutting and she layered all the dress. It's really nice. So Wendy, I'll have to, I'll have to send it on Facebook. I'll have to tell her. But yeah, it's so cute. Oh, my octopus? Yes, very cute. So that was from Wendy from National Scrapbook Day. So thank you very much, Wendy. You saw him on Facebook? Yeah. <laughs> June Marie's album. And then I got some happy mail from um, Happy Diane. Um, you know, she does beautiful cards. And so at the end of her show, she always gives her cards away. So I was lucky enough to get this one. I thought I was only getting the feather one. See that? And she actually sent me both. This one with the um, stickles. She always sings her stickles. <laughs> so. so thank you, Diane. And she's on right after me. So, And then she sent me this cute little card with the little bunny. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so that was all my happy mail. And then I'm going to show you what how far I um, went. I glued all the metals on um, the canvas. Hi, Luke. So let me see if I can. It's going to be hard to show because it's, you know, so long. But um, I glued. This is a little plastic. These are all metals. I put a little coin in here. The little lion. So if you can see that lion, he's holding a sword. They're lovely cards. This is, she makes pretty cards. She does. Hi, bunny. <laughs> um, and then I put the octopus with the sword in his hand with the little pearl put the world on there put some buttons um, then I put the all seeing eye on there I put some flowers and a little shark's tooth I don't know if you can see that the shark's tooth you love the maps yes um, and what else and then I put the, um, the roping around put the little mustache and then the key hold for the key and then the little skeleton head. And then down in this corner, I put some of the cheesecloth, a little seashell made of quilling. And then a flower and the little bubbles. It's hard to see. When we spray it, we'll be able to see it. And then for the treasure chest, I finished putting all the jewels in there. I added some more cheesecloth. Can you see that? Cheesecloth. And then I added these um, netting and some coins at the bottom, some glass beads, and I added the beads. So I have it all dry so we could gesso it tonight. So so that's kind of what it looks like. You see it? I'll have to put it this way. And then the octopus will go once we color it. Be careful. Oh, I'm so afraid. I've been moving this thing around. And then the octopus will go there on top like that. So... So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to gesso all the metals, and then we'll come and we'll um, we'll paint the octopus. So, 
And what I want to do is, um, I don't want to spray, so what we're going to do is we're going to drip it on there. So I'm going to use my Viva paints tonight. You love the trunk? <laughs> the treasure chest looks good, right? <laughs> so I'm just going to put some gesso. And this, now this is the scary part for me. <laughs> is ugh, when we, oh, first I'm going to do my, um, I love this gloves in the bottle. Barb um, Owen from Creating Faces um, suggested getting this. And you put it on your hands and it wipes, um, it protects your hands. It gives you like a, an invisible glove. And it does take the paint right off. I like it. This looks heavy, but that's the good thing about using the paper clay for the octopus because it's super light. <clears throat> the um, the metals aren't really too heavy. What's really heavy is the shells. <coughs> but that's one of the reasons I like the paper clay because it's it's just so much lighter than the regular clay. This is a gift for my niece. You know, the one that's having the baby on um, her and her room theme is a pirate theme so she can put the picture here of what her favorite picture of the baby and then this will just hang on the wall hi TC so so this is the nerd part for me I mean getting all the white gesso it's really putting the the colors on here after so let me get my brush wet here on this paper towel Hi, Barb. I was just telling them. Oh, my gosh. I love the gloves in the bottle. Love the gloves in the bottle. I use it all the time now. It's just your hands get so clean so quick. I love it. Hi, Marilyn. <laughs> Hi, Magana. All right. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go in here, and we're just going to paint everything. And then this way we'll have time for it to dry while we do our octopus. Can you see? Maybe we'll bring you down a little, another closer. Let's bring it down one more. Hold on. Get my controls here. Let's see if I move this one this way. Maybe one more. There you go. Don't let me forget to use the end. I want to use beads. I always forget when I have a canvas. That I'm, I did add some beads in here in the octopus, but um, I want to add some after, so don't let me forget the beads. And I could have done this before, but I wanted you to see how the difference between once you see the metals and then once it's all covered up. If you want a link for the gloves, yes, you could put the link there, Barb. The links are open. Mm -hmm. If you guys want the, I love that bottles in it. I use that delusions. You know how hard that is to get off your hands. Oh, I have to take this shipwreck off. And um, it worked like a charm. You need to get another bottle of that? I'm going to bring mine to Maryland with me, Carrie. I am going to just lightly lightly go over this um, the map as well so I want this just a little bit I don't know how dark I'm going to go with the paints I'm going to try to go it's for babies so I want to try to keep this part light and as we get closer to the ocean maybe go a little bit darker so And then I want to put some beads, some extra beads in, in here too, and towards the bottom. So, hi Martha. <laughs> You're late this week, just showed some um, quick happy mail, and now we're gessoing all the metal part. Even the flowers get gessoed. So you can see that. I don't know if I want to gesso my key. I might just keep the key separate. Oh, I do want to put some, um, I want to cover the eye, though. I don't want to cover, um, so I did take out some washi tape. There you are. There's the invisible gloves. Um, it work, works really well. Um, so I'm going to try to cover this up like a little circle, like.
and it does have moisturizer in it too for your hands. So I'm going to cover this up as best I can. And I'm also going to cover up him too. Just want to get don't want to get his bones. I mean, I could probably wipe it all off, but I'll try my best to keep it keep it clean. Avon has a particular product like that. They do. It works really, really well. Okay. So then you just want to make sure we get all this on the inside, outside, behind there. This is not too bad, the scary part. The scary part is putting the colors in there. <laughs> oh, now see, I have something orange on my octopus, and it's blending. Blending. And then it, ah, it's got orange on there. Yeah, the lotion's really, really nice. All right, so I'm going to also do this. Get underneath there. A little mustache. Uh, I don't know what to do with the key. Should I leave the key black? I think I'm going to leave it black. Hi, Cindy Lou. Hi, everyone coming in. We're just getting ready to um, paint our metals and let that dry. I might have to take the heat gun to it later, but we'll see. So you want to make sure you get all underneath too because it'll, this will be hanging up on the wall so you'll be seeing everything. Hi Miko! <laughs> How are you? I want to make sure I get the sides too because I'll be painting the sides. Yes, they did, Bunny. Um, I don't know who said it, but they said that Avon also has something similar. All right, so I just want to tilt this on this side. Let me get this. <laughs> No, I don't sell Avon, no. <laughs> and I just want to lightly go over this. And then I did put a fish down here. I don't know if you guys could see that. I did um, put some texture paste and add a fish down in here. I don't want to get my seahorse. And I'll go lightly in here. I'm not going to just sew over the seashells because they take the um, the paint pretty well. So I'm not going to go over that. And hopefully we can keep the paint away from the treasure chest too. I like to keep that kind of brown. So we'll see how it goes.
I'm just painting the bottom. And just the sides here. All right, so we're just going to let that dry. And then we're going to move on to what are you covering it with? This is um, I just use I have a little bit left. I want to use this gesso. This is the Fiber Castell gesso. Yes, I made the chest. Mm -hmm. Oh, you weren't here, Ella. Yep, we made I made the chest, and um, I forget what it not last stream was it last stream? I think it might have been last week. <laughs> So yeah, so there's a close-up of the chest, and I put all the jewels and stuff inside there, and so now we just sewed all this. So we'll let for this to dry, and now we're going to work on, let's bring this over to the side. Uh, now I want to work on our octopus. I'm so afraid I'm going to break him. <laughs> I kept like, like moving him and moving him. So um, we're finished with the gesso, and I'm going to do them with this um, coral color. Oh, there you are, Pam. You saw Avon? There you go, gloves. So you can get it either from Barb or from Pam. Whoa. The chest, you like the chest? <laughs> Thanks, Carrie. All right, so now let me just... I really wish I had a little bit more room. So I don't want that to move. I'm going to get my water. Hi, Lisa. All right. We have that. I want to get a smaller brush. And let's use this one. And these have little balls. These they um, this company is out of business, but you could still if uh, you have a Joann's around, they still sell them at Joann's. So they have a little ball. It's hard for you to hear, but they're in there. I, I shook it earlier, but could probably shaken it a little bit more, but it's good. So then I'm going to take this, and this has a gold kind of um, paint to it, like a sh uh, metal. It's really pretty. I'll show you once I get it close. Nope, I shaped it, Ella. Yep, I shaped it in the last, um, I think it was the last video, yeah. It's really easy. We did it like in, I think it was 45 minutes it was done. Thanks. I remember I did the octopus for um, the steampunk soiree last year when we went. I did it for my hat. And so um, so they're pretty easy. Pretty easy to do. Oh, hold on. <laughs> there goes my painting. Hold on a second. There we go. Ooh, almost had a crab flanch. <laughs> Yeah, the paper clay makes it like super light too, which is nice. And this it'll dry pretty quick. Like within two days, it's pretty much dried. I mean, you could put it in like a clay oven or something if you needed to get it right away. But I don't know if you can tell it's got like a gold. You can tell it's got like a gold sheen to it. Ah, uh, big Barb. I like the octopus. I think they refer to more like a feminine, I forget, you can look it all up, I mean, there's like all meanings for the octopus on how uh, stealthy it is, and they have a whole bunch of things for octopus. Hi, Jonna. Oh my gosh, I loved your um, pocket letter 
for Joyce this afternoon. Oh my God, she was going crazy with that lizard, wasn't she? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was funny. She gave her a pocket letter today. If you guys know Joyce, the uh, frugal eclectic, she's on at 2 o'clock, I think, right? Yeah, we're going to put the orange down maybe with a little brown, but I'm going to coat them all. It's got that, I like the goldness to it, so he looks like he's shiny, or her. She looks like she's shiny. So now we use the, I use the um, October Afternoon Pirate Collection. It's called Treasure Map, and then I saw today that um, Echo Park came out with a pirate um, collection. So for all you guys who are looking for boys, pirates, um, they have another little pirate collection. It's cute. Very similar to this one. It's going to look cute. It is going to look cute in baby's room, isn't it? Thanks. Oh my gosh. So I'm, as soon as this dries, probably Saturday, I'll send it off to her. And then she can hang it up in the baby's room. So she has, it'll be this canvas. And then I showed the mermaid canvas. So... She'll have the treasure test with the octopus. She'll have a mermaid. And then she'll have the mini book with the um, with the ship. So so I know she's having a hard time finding pirate stuff, so that should that should help her. <laughs> frugal. The frugal eclectic. Thank you. Yeah, that's Joycey up. Yeah. I finally got her straight. I used to get her mixed up with Jean. Jean is the um, musical scrapper on Mondays at 4. And then she's on on Wednesdays. So you still have to be kind of delicate because it's still, you know, delicate. <laughs> I have to make sure I pack these up pretty well too because I hate for it to break after all that work. You used to do that too? Me too. I was like, I don't know why I couldn't get them straight. <laughs> so I think I finally did. <laughs> yeah, John gave her a pocket letter today. and It was cute. All red, white, and blue. She's doing her kitchen red, white, and blue. She was so excited. Well, she's so excited. She just makes me laugh. <laughs> I mean, she starts laughing. You just can't help not laughing. <laughs> I know they're nothing like that's true. They aren't. But why can't? Why do you get them mixed up? I don't know. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Really, but a lot of times you see their hands they don't know in person. Yeah. And they don't sound alike, but I don't know why. I just don't want to get them mixed up. I know one time I, I was calling Joycey Jean, I think, and Eileen was like, where, where is Jean? <laughs> You didn't know she was doing her kitchen in red, white, and blue? Yeah. Yep. And that's what she said. She's going to put the her little banner with her name in her kitchen and the washi tape she was going to be able to decorate her kitchen with. Isn't that funny? Alright, so we're almost done. And then we're going to put him on last. I still want to give him like a little bit of a brown. I keep calling him him. It's supposed to be her. <laughs> um, a little bit of a brown tint. Just want to make sure I get all the legs. 
so that you don't miss any. The white. <laughs> she was de yeah, she was deconstructing the whole thing, yeah. But it's fun to do that. I like to go into all the different pockets. Then she didn't know if your tea was like, I guess, a loose leaf tea. So she hadn't opened that. Ah, now see, I have to be really careful. Almost broke it. I mean, I can glue it back, but. Can't really press too hard on these. I made one for my nephew too and he loved it. He's got it hanging up in his room. And then my um, first steampunk, I had those finger things for, you know, the octopus. And so I gave him those and <laughs> he was going around trying to scare everybody with them. He's cute. <laughs> no, it wasn't a tea packet. It was loose leaf. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I think it's all covered. This one is a little scary. I just want to look underneath and make sure I got everything. Once I put it on there, I won't be able to go back in and get it in any areas. So, let's see. That one is a little scary. Like that one, why this one moves so much. All right, I think I got it all. And it dries pretty fast, so. I probably don't have a lot of charms, trimming, etc., to put them in. You don't have to put a lot of charms. You can just put stickers or die cuts, even, a piece of chocolate. Alright, so let's put him away. We'll stick him. Let me see. I gotta stick him like or he's not gonna get into trouble here. And then I also want to put um, a little bottle so I can put like a message in a bottle. So you'll have to help me decide what to do with that. Uh, yeah, you don't. You don't have to put a lot of stuff. You yep, you could put quotes or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Die cuts. All right. So let's see if this is. I'm gonna have to heat dry this just a little bit. Let me get the heat gun. Hold on. Let me 
just all right hold your ears <laughs> This needs another little spot, a couple spots that I need drawing. I think I can take the tape. No, not yet. <coughs> Heat gun. go in with my lightest color first. Ah! Heat gun is always getting stuck on something. So I'm going to move you back out just a little bit. So I can get this in here. There we go. And so what I want to do is I want to go with the lightest blue that I have. So I'm going to use this blue here. This is ice blue. So like I said, I want to keep kind of that like all light. And as we get down closer to the ocean, then we'll go a little bit darker. So, and then I have some of my Prima sprays I might use too. I usually try to keep that on there, but I need a smaller brush. Oh, let's see. There <coughs> we go. Puts a seahorse with a zebra print. <laughs> hmm. Right. So what I'm going to do is, and this is going to be hard for me to to do because uh, I want to drip it down so I'm trying to see how I'm going to do it what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub it across the top and then we'll spritz it with water and see what it, how it goes all right So I need to like, I don't know, I need to spritz it down more. It's so hard because it's so long, you know. So let's go back in here with this. And I'm just going to hit it with a few spots and then I'll come in with another, another color. open up another one. So I'm going to go with this lime green. <clears throat> oh. And I need another brush. Come in here with this. 
So I'm just going to pour it on and then I will spritz it. We'll put a little bit more blue in there. And then spritz it along here. I really like the way that this um, paint like blends. You'll have to see it what I'm talking about in just a little bit. Let me just put this in there. It's really metallic. Like I love the metallic in this. So you can see it dripping. I just want to get in these little crevices that I missed here. We get this more in here. Now you can see where <clears throat> the texture paste. <clears throat> how that really moves. So let's get that all in there a little. Now you'll be able to see the fish coming. So I get this in there. You can see all the shine. There's really, really a lot of shine in this paint. I love this paint. It's too bad the company's out of business. I'll make sure I get the sides too. Oh, thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> so I just want to drip this in. I wish you could really see the silver like in this paint. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Let's move this over. I don't know if you can see the metallic in there or not. When it dries, we'll be able to get some more out of it. So let me make sure I get the sides. I'll get some more green. This one's green. And then I'm going to come back in here with some, I have a turquoise color that's really, really pretty. It's really nice paint, yeah. It's too bad, like I said, the company is just no longer in business. If I had my choice, this would be the paint that I would use all the time. Okay, let's squirt a little bit more water up there. Just gonna run it down. Now you can see the texture paste. I now with the paint and all. There you go. Can you see it? <laughs> I love the fish. The fish is a um, what do you call it? Uh, crafters workshop. So let me get my sides here. Some of that on there. Isn't that pretty? I wish you could see it when I dry it. So let's 
we'll dry some of it and then um, I want to put some turquoise color in here. So let me get the heat gun again. You see the fish now? Yeah. <laughs> Right. Heat gun, heat gun. Been doing the glove pocket letters, yeah. Just a little more. Oh, it's so yummy with all that silver on there. Oops, there we are. Oh my gosh, let me see if I can hold it up to you. It's so sparkly silver. Um, let me see. Let's see if I can get it so you could actually see the shine in there. It's so hard. <laughs> you can see. I wish I could get it. Maybe right there. You can start to see right there. See how the shiny? It's so. Oh my gosh, I love that paint. All right, so let's get another color. One more color in here, and I want to go with this turquoise. Look at this one, the turquoise one. So we could get down here and get a little bit darker. Doesn't that fish look cool on there? <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. Oh, the charms, yeah. <laughs> Aw. Oh, I we can open it. Oh, darn, I can't get this one open. Oh, there it goes. This is like a jade green. Thanks, Carrie. <laughs> you know, it always looks so much better in person. So you see this color? Can you see it? It's like a ooh, like a jade green. So I thought for the down in here, where the ocean is kind of more dark, you know. And I want to get some on the um, the shells too. So let's move that around. And I love this new distress uh, spray of Tim's. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Oh, I get that so it's um, kind of blended. You're doing ATCs now? All right, so let's get this moving. I want to get this dark in here. Let's see if I get some of this on the shells. And then I'm going to spray that, the shell part. All right, so now I want to get this moving. I'm going to get it right in this little spot right there. 
there. Oh, that is so sparkly. Does it look like the ocean? Ooh, it's nice, isn't it? Nice. All right. Uh, I have to put the heat gun on here again. Sorry, ladies. You know, it's, I know mine. I don't know why mine is so loud. My heat gun is really loud. Let's put the back here. Get down in here. All right. Stick these in there. I'll put the top on these. Hi, Colleen. <laughs> Let me just put the top back on these, and then we'll hit this with the heat gun. And then I have to make sure it's really dry, and then I want to go back up in the metals um, a little bit, and then we'll put some beads on there. So, hold on. Gotta get the heat gun. Oh, what happened to my chat? There it is. All right, heat gun. This is really wet, so it's going to take a while to dry. It's still kind of wet in here, but I'm going to go work on the top, and then we can come back and then dry it. So, And then after that, I think um, once this is dry, we can add our octopus. And it's nice. You can still see, I can still see the um, paper underneath with Tim's, um, oh, I get some drippage in there. Look at that. You see it dripping? Oh, that looks really good. So I like that. So I want to get some up in the top here. So let's, let's see how I can move my chair over here. Hold on. Ah, put that on top of him. I'm trying to get this so that you guys can see. Got the metals there, yeah. So I want to get a little bit more color in here. So... I think maybe I'll go should go with this darker blue. Let me see what this is. This is blue azure. I don't know if I should go with the blue or more green. Yes, this one out of business, but they still have it in Joanne's. Joanne still has um, some bottles. They even had some um, on clearance. Um, but it's really nice. 
it's still a business really but the products went out of business yeah i don't know why it, it's such a beautiful color their paints i mean the metallics in them are really metallic you can see maybe when i can um you could see on this paper i'll bring it up closer and let's put some of this yummy green on here put some in the background of this and the spray bottle and this most of that has gold um, silver in it but this this one's got like a gold uh, metallic to it It's so, oh, I love it. I'll be sad when I don't have any more of it. <laughs> All right, I think I'm good. I like the color of everything. I think it looks good. I just want to get some color down in the bottom here. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Thanks. Yeah, I think she'll really, she'll be like floored when she sees it, I hope. <laughs> I hope she is. So, but I love that combination right there. And then when we put the octopus on top of it, oh my gosh, it's going to look good. All right, so I think I have enough. I covered everything. Back in here. Just a little bit more in there. Right in here. I think that looks pretty good. Hi, Janet. <laughs> Don't forget the beads. Yes, we have to dry this first. Thank you, Bunny. And then we're going to put the beads on there. And then we're also going to put some um, mica. Not that it needs more shine, but <laughs> I'm definitely going to put some of that. Yes, I want to put the beads on there. I want to use this, the mica powder. So we'll do that. I have the beads to go on there. I have some other beads too, the blue ones. And I want to put some of these light blue ones on there. Thank you, Ella. <laughs> Thank you, the beads. All right, so let's try it. I got to try it one more time. Sorry for the noise. I know my thing is loud. So, heat gun. <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> oh, that's good. Sorry. I listened to my, I listened to one of my streams and I was like, oh my God, that heat gun is loud. I'm going to have to, I have to sop up some of that from, it's just like pooling in there. We'll get it dry. Okay, he can. Let's see if I get this some of it out of there. Hold your ears. <laughs>
<laughs> You're not using your phones good. <laughs> They won't be able to put the beads unless it's totally dry in there. I'll have to let it dry a little bit more. I'm going to oh, do that. I'm going to spray the um the be the shelves now because it looks too white. So you'll see. Oh, let me see if you can see some of the sparkle now, the glitter gold. You can see it. it's so metallic. It's just really, really nice. I wish I could get the shine to come up. I love the drippage. <laughs> okay, so we're going to spray. You see how the shells move this up a little bit? They're really white now, so I want to do uh, some spray on there. So. I'm gonna, with that, I'm going to spray, um, and we did get to keep the treasure chest brown, so that's nice. Hi, Sandy. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use, I have um, glistening waves, and I have soft teal. So I'm going to use that just for the, um, just for the shelves to chop soften them up a bit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love the fish. I'm so glad I had the fish on there. The texture, you can really see the texture, how nice it looks after you put the paint. Because it doesn't really show up at all. So, all right, so let's spray this. It just gives it just a nice little tint. It doesn't really, um, you know, darken them. Like this paint would darken those shells too much. See, I did it over here. It was too dark. Yes, it's a boy barb. Yes, it is. Although they were teasing me last week. They were like, well, what if it turns out to be a girl? I'm like, well, it'll be pirate girls, I guess, too. <laughs> so I think, I think that looks good. I can wipe off my glass beads. So see how it takes the tint now? So let me heat dry that, and then I'll bring it up closer for you. You have the bottom and the treasure chest? Okay, heat gun. Thanks, Janet. Your favorite sock, the piss. <laughs> Yes, it's going on the treasure chest. It's really got it all dry in there. Okay. <laughs> the skelly fish is cool, right? Yep. I just happened to, uh, when June and I were, we were jelly plating on Monday, and she used the fish, and I was like, oh my gosh, i got to put that fish on there. So can you see now? I think you can see now all the metallic, the silver, it's so sparkly, so sparkly, the fish, and then, i got to watch my camera, sorry, so, and then now you can see the shells, how nice they look, just a little bit of color, not too much, yep. The skelly fish is cool. <laughs> All right. So now we need, this is definitely too bright, so we're going to have to tone him down. Just tone it down just a little bit. But doesn't that look cool on there? So I think I'm going to use um, probably like a vintage, vintage brown or something. So let's move this. 
and let's tone him down just a little bit. Put this back up here. Oh, thank you, Colleen. Thanks. I love to do the canvases. I don't know what it is, um, but how many canvases can I have? <laughs> um, but I like them a lot. Thank you, Jim Marie. All right, so let's see what color we're going to use um, just to tone him down a little bit. I need like, um, I'm trying to think if I have that steampunk, um, steampunk color would be nice. Hold on, let me look. I gotta look. Do I have to go back and watch the first part? Yeah, but when we did the camp, I mean the octopus, it's so easy, but it's so cool. Like, I, I love doing that. All right, well, I'm looking for kind of like a vintage brown, maybe. Let's see, what do I have? Steampunk ish. Maybe it's steampunk. Of course, it's all the way on the other side. Oh, Hold on, I gotta look through my sprays here. Let's see what do I have? Oh, I wonder what this rust color would be. This is, I think the cowabunga copper is too orangey. I really want something that's, oh, here we go. Beetle black, but I don't want to make them black. I really want brown. All right, hold on. I got to walk to the other side of the room. If I don't knock things over, <laughs> if I can get there. Oh. If I can get there. Nope, too bad the green. Hold on, I gotta like scoot my butt. Things are gonna fall. Don't worry, I'm alright. I just gotta. I don't think I can get there. I gotta move things around. Hold on. Oh, don't let me forget to put the bottles. The uh, message in the bottle we want to put in there. So, hold on, I gotta go to the other side. The other side of the room. What happens is I put this. I have a table that you like lift the corner up, and so when I put the corner up, I put stuff on it, and so then I gotta take everything off. <laughs> Hold on. But we want it to come out right, so. Steampunk brown. All right. So I have it. It's a steampunk sepia. I think if we spray him with that, spray her with that, that will look good. Whoops. Okay, there we go. Put everything back. Yes, don't let me forget the bottles. I want to, I don't know if I should add this big one. I have these three other little ones. So remind me about the bottles. Okay, move this. Oops. Almost. So this is too dark, I think. <coughs> <coughs> There's Miss Diane. Hi. I showed your beautiful cards um, today in the first in this first in the beginning of the stream. Thank you very much for the cards. And that was so nice. I thought I was only getting the feather one. So it was nice you sent me both. And I did I did sing stickles for you. <laughs> okay, I'm drink water. And the beads, yes. Don't let me forget the beads. Oh, who's running a fever? <clears throat> Aw, is your baby calling? All right, so I'm going to shake this up. You're doing much better, Diane. Were you sick? I got your beautiful cards, and thank you for sending me all of them. And I definitely will use them. Okay, here's a little scary. I'm just going to do the... Oh, yeah, that's good. Just tone them down, tone her down just a little. And then i got to paint the eyes. So it's not so shocking. I think just the head needs a little bit more. There, that looks good. Um, where's my heat gun? Hi, Bridgeton. <laughs> Your doggy is run is running a fever. Oh no, heat gun. <sighs>
Okay, that looks good. So, <coughs> all right, let me move all this other stuff. Let's put it back up here. So that's just perfect, I think. Just toned it down just a little bit. It's not so bright now. So it looks good. Can you see? I'll bring it up close. So you see how it's got the gold tint to it now? Isn't that cute? You got a bee sting. Who did? Oh no. All right, so we're ready to put our octopus on. I want to get rid of this water so I don't spill it. Bring this back. We have to put the bottle on here. Our octopus. Oh my gosh. All right. I'll move that up a little bit. So now I'm going to just lay it down where I want. That, I think that looks good. Doesn't that look good? Oh, we still have to paint the eyes, but I can do that later. I'm just going to put little black dots on his eyes. Um, so when am I going to stick him down? So, Okay, Barb, thanks for coming. Um, so now I'm going to stick the octopus down. So let me get my glue. <coughs> I want to make sure that's stuck really well. So I'm going to put a lot of glue on my arms. So that each leg is like stuck down. Oops. I don't want any glue gobs on there. One stuck on there, just like that. It's made out of paper clay. I did it last week. You could see the video. I want to stick this one now. This is the one that scares me a little. It just like comes right up. And stick it there. And stick it down here. Paper clay, yes. Mm -hmm. we, I did it last week. Um, we did like an under an hour. Mm -hmm. You can watch the recording. It's all recorded. It's on YouTube and on Ustream. <laughs> yep, it's all recorded. Yep, so there. Looks good. Sitting on top of our treasure chest. Oh my gosh, doesn't look good. And with the fish here, I like it a lot. So... <laughs> All right, so now we want to put our beads. So let's see. I want to, so what do you think about, I could either put this big one, because I want to put the message in here, you know, made by me, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I could either put this big one right up here. I know it's going to be hard for you guys to see. So I could put it up against the key here. Paula's um, on now, Sherry. She goes on, she talks for, for a half hour, and then she starts her show at 9.30. Um, or I could use this little one. So if I put the little one, I could put the little one here. I don't know where to put it, but I think this one's too big. I think I should go with the brown, the brown one. What do you think? The only thing is I could put a really small little message in there. <laughs> Yes, it's for my, yep, my niece is having a baby boy. Hopefully it is a baby boy. <laughs> and, um, yep, she's, um, they're actually going to take the baby because she was in hospital for a week. She had problems with her pancreas and her liver. So they're actually scheduling her for June 27th. So, so what do you think? The little baby bottle here. I could put it in his, in his like te tentacles up in there. Okay, you're welcome. So where would I put the bottle? What do you think? The bottle here? The bottle down here? Or should I go with this bigger bottle and put it up by the key? You like the brown one? Me too. I like the little brown one. But now where should I put it? At the bottom here? Or should I put it like in the octopus like he's holding the bottle?
frozen peas. Oh no! Aw, newborn. Aw, is it you have a new little puppy and it's sick? The little paw here and the octopus or the bottom? Someone says the bottom, someone says the bo octopus. I think I'm going to put it, it'll be easier, I think, maybe for them to pop it open if I get it here. Because you could take that out if I put it in there. <laughs> no, it's a canvas. It's a canvas, Bridgeton. It's a um, 10 by 20, I think, or 10 by 22. So she could put her picture up in here, the baby's picture, and then it's got all the medals. I still have to add the beads, and I want to, um, yeah, 20 by 10, yes. Mm -hmm. And it's all nice and shiny. Oh, my gosh, I wish you could really see the shine. It's just so pretty. All right, well, I still have to write my little note. This one's just too big for that. I should have left some of these coins out, and I could have used a bigger one, but. All right, well, I still have to write my notes. So let's do the beads, and I want to do some of the, um, this blue beads are really pretty. So I need to get my gel medium. So let me get that. i got to wipe some of this glue off. You don't see that. There we go. So cool. All right, so I need a gel medium. Maybe gel medium. My one piece, I don't want that. Oops. Uh, white piece. I'm looking for my gel medium. Hold on. I think this is this is 3D matte. I don't think I want that. I want the plane if I can find it. Let's see. Light paste. Soft matte medium. I got it. This is what I want. Soft matte gel. Alright, so what we want to do is I want to add some of these blue beads and I want to add some of these brown beads and then we're going to add some of the mica powder. So. Aww. Peas in a bag. Frozen peas. Aww. All right, so let me get another brush. I need a brush. What do I do with the brush? Let's make sure it's clean. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some, like I want to fill, oh, you can't see. I'm going to bring it closer now. Um, let me bring you guys closer, a little bit closer. All right. So what I want to do is move this down. So what I want to do is get the beads up in here. So I use a soft matte, matte gel. So now I'm just going to go in here and wherever I want the beads to go is where I'm going to put the matte medium. So I want it to be filled up all in there. Put some in here in this jaw and the little, and that one's got some beads, but I'm going to put some more up in here. So I'm going to bring it all the way down like this. 
So we'll put some more down here. Thing is, though, I don't have really anything to catch these with. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. Getting it all over. I'm going to put some up in here. I'll put some up in here. Now the thing is with these beads, you don't really notice the um, the light blue ones. The dark ones will notice, but not the light blue ones. So I'm going to go in here first with the light blue. And I have a little spoon I think I'm going to try to use. See if that helps me. Set on my fingers. So you see they're just like little glass beads. And it just adds just a little more texture to um, the project. And it'll be hard for you guys to see. I'll try to bring it up closer so you can. It just it's just looks so nice on here. And I oh I forgot to do them on my Humpty Dumpty one. I wanted to do it on that and I forgot. Okay. I'll bring that up close so you could see. And then we'll add some of the dark ones. So, can you see? See the beads on there? Just gives it a little bit more color and just a little more texture on there. All right. So now I'm going to ah, my fingers. I'm going to put some of the dark beads on here. And I think for the dark ones, I don't know, I might try to just maybe just come along the side with the dark. See how that looks. So. Like that. Oh, the bottles. I won't forget the bottles. I won't. I'm going to put these on first. Get that one out of order. I need a, a wipe. Hold on. My hands are sticky. I don't want to pull the paint off. The bottles. The bottles. I will. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to put the dark ones. Dark ones along this side. Oh, did I open this? These are ones that are really roll all over the place. I'm gonna do is tilt this this way. I love the little brown ones. They just like, oh, they look so cool on here. Okay. Baby boy, yep, it's for baby boy. So I'm going to add some more. So do you see how it just gives it a little more texture and just a little bit? I like them a lot. The blue, the little B. 
beads. And so then I think I'm just going to carry the beads down along this side. So let me get another brush. I could probably put some, but I want to just carry it along the, um, kind of like a, on the octopus here, along the sides here, and then down in here. <laughs> yeah, just to carry it along the side. So it just adds, like, I don't know, I just love the little beads, the micro beads. All right, so this one I'm going to have to tilt this way a little. See how cute they look? It's just a little texture. All right, so there we go. So there it is. So let me just get some of these off. Can you see it now? Doesn't it look good? Yeah, it look like streams of bubbles. Mm -hmm. So you could see. Doesn't the little octopus look good in there? He's holding that little sword. <laughs> and, that. and then there's the key. And then he stayed pretty white. So I can go back in there with the black. Blacken that up a little. And then there's a little seahorse. And then the octopus. I gotta put the eyes on there still. And then there's the little beads over here. Oh, thanks, Bridgeton. <laughs> um, and then I love the fish. Hard for me to show it because my camera's like right in the way. There. And then the seashells. You see the sea doesn't it look better with the um the prima spray on there? Oh, thank you guys. Yeah. So all right, so now they're a little bottle. <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to add him. <clears throat> well, color his eyes too while we're here. Thank you, Marilyn. <laughs> <clears throat> don't forget to sign it. Oh, I will. I'm gonna um, put a thing on the back. I have a little. I don't know what I do. Oh, I'm gonna add this because it just looks like um, I have this, and I'm gonna glue that to the back and then sign my name on it. But I'm also going to put a little tiny, this up to be a really little note. <laughs> <coughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. So we're going to put the bottle here. Did we say the bottle here or at the bottom? I don't know where I want them at. But the, only because there's such a big space there. I think I want to put it there. And there's so much at the bottom there. It's just easier for them to pull that out, I think. <coughs> so I think that's where I'm going to stick it. What I do with it? So this should hold it. You could use this gel medium as um, glue too. I'm just going to put a big glob of it and then stick it down just like that. There we go. <laughs> the Prima sprays look so good on the shells. I love the um, love spraying the shells. Thank you, Kia. Oh, gotta close it. All right. So let me see if I have some black paint. We'll paint his eye, her eyes. I keep calling him a he. Um, what do I do at the top? Uh, 
There it is. Oh, thanks. Yeah. It looks really good. So I'm going to give him some eyes. It needs a mini note. I'm going to put a note in there. I think once, um, well, I think I was going to send it before the baby was born. What I might do is I might send the mini book before and then maybe save this and maybe put the baby's date. I don't know what I'm going to do. I really should just send them both at the same time. <laughs> put my phone number in the box so the baby can call you in a pinch. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Uh, although I don't know what I could do for him. He's all the way in Kentucky, so <laughs> it'd be a long, long wait for me to get there. Um, all right, so we need some black paint. Black paint. And we need a little brush. Ew. <laughs> you can ask Aunt Sandy for money. Yeah, good. All right, we need just a little tiny brush. Oh, let's see what do I have. Or maybe I'm just going to use a, um, what do you call it, a stylus. So this way I don't get too carried away with the little black. And then I have to spray this too. I usually spray it um, with a clear finishing on it. I could wire him money. <laughs> Might need a little white on the outside of it too. <laughs> I'll have to wait till that dries and I think I'll have to add some white on there. So what else? We got the bottle on there. We've got all the beads. Oh my gosh, I love how it came out. I'm going to take some better pictures of it and then I'll post it on uh, Facebook for you guys. Because it, it's so glimmery and shiny. I just love it. <laughs> this is probably like one of the things, you know, when you do this, it's like a gift and then you do it so good, you're like, oh, I don't want to give it away now. <laughs> She needs eyelashes. Well, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> Let me see if I can get my little Sharpie, though. I think it needs... What is this? Let me just a little... Can I... I don't think that's going to work. I need to think they need a Sharpie. Um... I don't have my Sharpie up here. Let's see if it's a brush pen. Yeah, these get a little bit closer. Hi, pear tree. I'll put a little bit of a shadow in there. There we go. So we finished earlier than I thought. I don't think there's anything else. Anything else we could do? Do you guys have any questions? Do you want to see anything else? Then you guys can head on over to Paula. Paula's on now. But I'll give you one more quick look at it. So there it is. That's that part. It looks so good, doesn't it? You have to look so close to see all the details and stuff, which is nice. He's alive. <laughs> He's alive. And then this one came, so I'll have to come back here and go over the black a little bit there. Let's see how cute it is. Let me see how shiny. Now you can see the shine on it. It's very, very shiny. You can see that, yeah.
So we'll call it an early night. I don't know anything. I'm trying to think next week. I think I'm going to try to do um, a book for um, Maryland so that I can get people assigned it. So thank you. Thank you, Colleen. Um, so I think next week we'll work with the new Prima um, Garden Fable paper. And then Sunday I'm going to be hopefully doing um, something in a journal. I don't know what yet, but you know, we'll see what it is. And then I'll show you. I have to sew, sew the envelopes. So I'll show you that on Sunday. Oh, thank you guys. Oh, happy Diane. Yes, she's streaming in a half hour. So you go over to Paula and then you can see um, at 10 o'clock, another half hour, happy Diane is on for an hour. Yep. Yep. All right, no other questions? Thank you, guys. Yeah, I think it came out great. So I'll put some extra pictures on Facebook when, um, tomorrow for you guys to take a better look at it. Um, <laughs> I have what already? <laughs> we finished early. Yeah, I have the garden. Oh, yeah, I have the garden fable already. So we're going to work with that next week. Yep. So I'm going to make a book for Maryland. <laughs> Yeah, I got the whole collection. Oh, I got it right away. As soon as it came out, I knew I was getting it. Uh, thanks, Colleen. Thanks for coming. All right, guys. So, no other questions. So, next Thursday, next Thursday, next Wednesday, we'll be play with the Prima Garden Fable. Bye, Miko. I'll see you at um, Diane's and or at Paula's. Have a good week, everyone. Thanks. Bye.